In 2000, Farm Week's Brian Utley, still on staff here, visited with a man in Rankin County, Mississippi, known for his wood carvings. George Berry passed away in 2014, but his work was well known. Here's that story again with an intro by former Farm Week anchor Leighton Spann. There are many different methods people use in order to relax. For some, it may be reading a book or going on a long walk. A man from Rankin County has a special method he uses. It's wood carving. George Berry has been relaxing now for more than 50 years, carving out animals that are commonly seen in Mississippi. And he does it all with a pocket knife. Farm Week's Brian Utley tells us more. Take a drive across Mississippi and you're likely to come across some of the animals and wildlife that are central to the state. Stop in at George Berry's workshop in Richland and you'll see some wooden replicas of these creatures that are almost lifelike. Berry learned the trade from his father at the early age of seven. Wood carving was used as a way to relax and pass the time. Yeah, I um, used to watch my dad after working all day. Uh, stand at the end of the row after he was plowing or whatever, and he would stop to rest the horses and pick up a stick and start just cutting on it. What began as a hobby has since turned into something much larger. Hard work has helped Barry make a name for himself as an artist and a teacher. Perhaps the most amazing thing about his career is that all his carvings are created with a pocket knife. It came natural for me to uh, to work like this, to do this, it's a gift, and uh, I've always pursued it and practiced it, and, um, and this is what it's turning into now. Barry moved to Mississippi from Oklahoma in 1972 to be an industrial arts instructor at the Piney Woods School. Life in Mississippi has been good as he has achieved numerous awards and recognition for his work. In 1984, he was chosen to demonstrate wood carving in the Mississippi exhibit at the World's Fair. He has been featured in magazines such as Southern Living and the book Craft in America by Phyllis George. He also had one of his pieces featured on the cover of the 1993 South Central Bell telephone book, and the list goes on. The thing that sets Barry apart from other wood carvers is the fact that he doesn't use expensive machines for his work. He uses his hands. This is a distinction that he stresses. I want him to know that I do it all by hand. I do it the old-fashioned way. That that's done by the machine, that's there, and this is mine. And to me, uh, the difference in doing, doing that is, uh, let me put it this way, if I go out here and dig a hole with a shovel, and you go out here and take a bulldozer, there's a lot of difference between that and this thing. Wood carving is rarely taught in school classrooms, and Barry feels it is becoming a lost art. To share his love of carving with others, he often does demonstrations in schools, museums, and festivals. As a charter member of the Craftsman's Guild of Mississippi, he also teaches year-round carving classes at the Chimneyville Crafts Gallery. Many of his students describe the experience as an escape. Taking his class is just so relaxing. It's almost peaceful after a long day's work. You come in here and he's such an easy teacher and funny and easy to get along with that uh, it's almost therapeutic. I think people are starting to recognize that this is not just a wood carver. There's lots of wood carvers out there, but he's really a unique wood carver. I mean, he has a... Um, he, he has this ease about him that makes him um, look like he could do it with his eyes closed and still come out with a wonderful piece. Establishing a connection with people is what Barry strives for in his work. He wants them to see how good carving is for the soul. This makes me care about myself and I'm hoping that this will rub off on other people that uh, no matter whether they are uh, carving, drawing, or whatever it is, that uh, they will feel good about it themselves, good enough to care about themselves. 
George Berry says he realizes that God has given him a special talent, and he doesn't take it for granted. If I don't do the things that he gave me to do and the things that he blessed me to do, then I'm going to eventually lose it. So I made the decision to, uh, to do what he gave me to do, and I feel and he blessed me since. More and more of Barry's time is spent going out and studying the animals he carves, paying close attention to their fine lines and intricate details, all in the pursuit of that perfect wood carving. He still participates in many arts and craft festivals across the state, so if you get a chance, stop in. You might get to meet a true Southern craftsman and gentleman. From Richland, I'm Brian Utley reporting. Artis, you were fortunate to be able to go along. I was fortunate enough to go along and do some of the photography on Brian's story there, and a very good job on that story, Brian. Great story. The pleasures of days gone by. Yeah.